the first and uh, largest challenge is the sheer lack of uh, energy, uh, whether it is in the form of electricity or liquid fuels. The shortage leads to a proliferation of devices such as diesel generators. In other words, leads to dirtier energy. Uh, there are other issues uh, such as the lack of information about better energy technology choices. There are issues related to how the um, uh, risks associated with new technologies can be internalized. The second issue is that the institutional structures in India, whether it is the way in which the electricity system is set up or the way in which the pricing of petroleum fuels is set up or in the way that the distribution of energy in municipalities is set up, it often needs very specific uh, responses. The key is bringing different communities together. Uh, in any place where energy is used, its use, distribution, and production involves a lot of different actors and regulators. A challenge is to bring them all together towards a, an initiative, towards a business model which works and which is sustainable. How to make energy services available to people at a particular place at a particular time when they need it. For example, let's say air conditioning. If we look at air conditioning, I am sitting here. So I need air conditioning here. When I move away, there's no point in having air conditioning here. To some extent, we've started doing these kinds of things with lighting. In a very similar manner, we need similar things for transport. Both the technology, the delivery systems, and the business models for these kinds of things need to be worked on. In India, as we move ahead and want to have cleaner energy technologies is an ability to bring together uh, urban planners, politicians, the technology suppliers, financial institutions. Uh, so one of the important issues is that the institutional structure needs to create a space where these people can meet and talk and make decisions. The second is a group of professionals, and that is what we are focusing on here, a group of professionals who can help all of these different communities understand each other. The innovative and most useful thing about the IIHS curricula is that it is bringing a diverse set of people together. But more important than bringing a diverse set of people together, even more important than getting information from various disciplines together is the fact that the pedagogical tools, for example, studios from architecture, are being pushed into the area where engineers and social scientists work, something which is not done. Now, this is exactly the kind of intervention we need in the urban area where different communities have to come together.